As we start, it would be great if you can participate in this activity to get a better understanding about the topic we are going to be discussing. Please do participate. Don't hesitate. Just do it. It would give you clarity plus it's fun. Now, what I would like you to do is please bring a white sheet of paper or anything to draw on and some colors too. I'm going to describe an object and I need you to draw it. Please do participate and let's all have some fun. I'm waiting. Please go ahead and bring your material, a paper and some colors. So let us start the activity. Please remember to draw as best as you can. This is the object. Go ahead and start drawing. It is long and rectangular in shape. It is grey in colour. It is long and rectangular in shape. It is grey in colour. It has two doors with two handles each. Two doors with two handles each. It has lots of stickers all over. It has lots of stickers all over. And it has lots of things on top of it. So are you done drawing? Actually, I was describing the fridge in my home. And here are some samples that I got when I conducted this activity before. Take a look. As you see, each of these is different from the others. I'm sure yours is also slightly different from these. So, we notice here that each drawing looks different even though all have received the same instructions. What does this mean? We can draw the conclusion that communicating clearly is not easy. We all interpret the information we get in different ways and that's why it's very important to ask questions and confirm understanding to be sure that the communicated message is not altered. You can redo this activity with another partner and have some fun while also observing the dynamics of communication during this activity. So our topic for today is communication. Communication in relationships is very important. It is one of the main components of a healthy relationship. We must strive to have open communication at all times. Communication is not only talking but listening also. Listening is not just passive hearing but active listening. The APA Dictionary of Psychology defines it as the transmission of information which may be by verbal, oral or written or non-verbal means. Humans communicate to relate and exchange ideas, knowledge, feelings and experiences and for many other interpersonal and social purposes. We would have heard many times that communication can either make or break a person. Similarly, it can make or break relationships too. Many times, resolving communication issues and relationships can work wonders for the relationship itself. Now, communication can be verbal or non-verbal. Verbal is oral or written to do with words. Non-verbal communication refers to the ways in which we convey information about our emotions, needs, intentions, attitudes and thoughts without the use of verbal language. That is, for example, facial expressions, gestures, body language, tone of voice, etc. To see the importance of non-verbal communication, let's participate in another small activity. I'll give you a sentence and you must read it aloud. The sentence all of you will read aloud is we all need to gather our possessions and move to another building as soon as possible. I am going to give you some emotions and you are going to try and say the above sentence with that emotion. So for example, if I say happy, you are going to read the above sentence with the emotion happy. So express happiness and read this sentence. So it will be something like this. We all need to gather our possessions and move to another building as soon as possible. The next emotion is sad. Did you say the sentence with the emotion sadness? Next, anxious. Say the same sentence again, feeling anxiety. Fearful. Disgust. Surprise. 
and the last emotion is anger i hope you participated and said the sentence in these different emotions did you see a difference in tone facial expressions gestures and body language while reading the sentence with varying emotions anger would be like we all need to gather our positions and move to another building as soon as possible sad would be we all need to gather our positions and move to our another building as soon as possible therefore we see that how we communicate is also very important than only what or the content we communicate example how was your day when we ask this to our partner or a child it can be said with different emotions it can be said excitedly in a bored way uninterested or in a routine manner so you can ask your partner how was your day tell me more about it or you could also say how was your day tell me more about it how was your day tell me more about it so non verbal communication is also very important in effective communication effective communication helps to meet needs of people involved and stay connected in a relationship it enhances intimacy it builds love trust respect and support it removes misunderstanding lessens assumptions and reduces conflict effective communication increases positive affect some ways we can improve our communication in relationships keep aside all gadgets and give complete attention it's also a way of showing respect to the person be in the present and don't bring up the past especially during arguments or conflicting opinions stick to the topic in hand don't digress be non judgmental have an open attitude when discussing avoid silent treatment don't assume but ask questions and clarify pause to think and speak be aware of non verbal communication like tone of voice gestures etc use i statements instead of you statements you statements begin with the pronoun you and imply that the other person is responsible for something they blame accuse and assume the receiver with no responsibility for self it more likely makes the listener feel defensive and resentful an i statement on the other hand forces us to take responsibility for what we are thinking and feeling and prevents us from blaming our partners when using i statements we can still be assertive but we find a less hostile and more compassionate way to communicate we have seen that tone of voice vocal inflection volume and pitch is important during communication and we often forget about it while we are communicating i feel statements help prevent miscommunication that can happen when one partner takes an accusatory tone of voice some of the examples are instead of saying you don't care about me or my feelings we can say i feel frustrated when my feelings aren't heard or acknowledged instead of saying why don't you ever listen we can say i feel unheard can we talk instead of saying you just don't understand we can say i feel like i'm not being understood and it's making me feel upset next use active listening instead of passive listening this includes responding asking questions probing and using open ended questions clarifying and summarizing listen to your partner put aside your own thoughts for the time being and try to understand their intentions feelings needs and wants this is called empathy teach children empathy validate feelings when others are talking help children practice conversation skills with props like puppets videos or pretend play practice taking turns with a stick a toy or a ball teaching your children that they can speak when they have the object in hand but they are expect to listen when others are talking this enables them to learn to give a chance to others to speak and not to interrupt them some of the barriers to effective communication could include physical barriers like being far away or the sound of a fan blocking or a curtain or a wall in between they could be psychological like intense emotions they could be misunderstandings not listening actively 
not sending the appropriate non-verbal cues etc becoming aware and working on removing or reducing these barriers can help improve communication in our relationships too i hope you would incorporate these communication skills into daily living and experience more satisfying relationships i hope this tone of help video would reach out and be helpful to you and those around you please do subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications on more such content thank you and have a nice day this is lucy lenora edwin psychologist and educator signing off